All right, we're looking at our 2016 update to our uh, Christmas lights. A um, couple minor changes because we're going to uh, add a couple things. Um, it's uh, almost Halloween now, so uh, one of those uh, additions will be covered in this video, and then we'll uh, do our second edition uh, later on where we're adding a uh, RGB star up on the uh, side of our house. So I want to go over something. If you remember our, our last video, we used all four of our... Uh, Pixlite 4 control ports. You can see I have three in here now. What we did is tied our garage doors and our roof into one, and we'll show you here in a second how we did that. So this is just another uh, quick overview of, of what the connections look like. Our red uh, is a 12 volt, the green is our signal wire, the blue is our ground. And then we have uh, a 10 gauge wire running from our power supply into our Pixlite, just a nice heavy wire so we don't have to worry about any overheating or anything like that. And we'll uh, show you that uh, basically we have two garage doors and what we did is we, uh, instead of running the roof line straight to the board, we've actually added the roof line onto the end and we'll uh, walk over and take a look at that. So if you watched our last video, you know that we had our uh, roof line, it's all C9 pixels. And we uh, ran that on the other, uh, straight off the board. What we did this year is where our garage doors were a channel on the board is we came in and we actually switched our roof line around. So you can see right here, we took some 18 gauge wire and just right at the end, got our nice soldered shrink wrap on the end. And then we connected it up this way. This is about a 12 foot uh, section and then we soldered it to the end. So that lets us run, uh, free up a channel actually, because what's gonna happen is up on the center of the roof, we're gonna put about 150 pixel, 170 pixel star. That's going to need a, a channel on its own. And another fun addition this year is we added some luminaires. So if you uh, recall off the last video, this porch railing and this window runs on one channel. What we did is at the end of the window here, you can see our window is in and then we have an out that comes down to our luminaires. And it's almost Halloween, so we've actually put in some nice cutouts into these. These are our Boscoya Pixelaire, I think is what they call them. They're, they're fairly inexpensive, a few dollars each. And then we've just taken some uh, cardboard cutouts and put uh, taped them in. We'll show you one of these guys tore down. And all we did is put uh, some 12 millimeter pixels in. And they're just in there and they're soldered together. Again, this is just our 18 gauge uh, three bin wire. Shrimp graph from soldered in and then the uh, cover goes over that. And then we just added four of these onto the end. We'll uh, show you the inside one here in a second. So this is the inside of the uh, luminaire cover. You can see these were just a couple dollars on Amazon for a bunch of these uh, cutouts. And all we did was uh, scotch taped them in there. And then uh, this one will have uh, two bats in the background when it's backlit by the pixels. So it's pretty simple. So let's uh, go in and uh, we're going to add our star in a different video. But let's go in and show you how we uh, added these luminaires and changed our uh, settings from last year to this year. All right, so we have X-Lights opened up. You'll notice from our last uh, video to this video, this looks a little bit different. It's because we're running on X-Lights uh, a little bit newer version of X-Lights now. Um, I've already drawn in the, the extra luminaire models really quick, but I just wanted to go over how, what we changed. Last year, we had our roof line right here in this area. We had that connected straight to the controller. So this was on the uh, channel one. This was going this way up, down, and over. So this would have been channel one on Pixel one on channel one going this way. So what, what we did is what we showed before is now we've connected a roof line from here. So we have our garage doors that go up and over, they're connected together, and then it's gonna start here and go this way instead. That's kind of the nice thing about pixels is we didn't install them any differently, we just hooked them up a little bit differently. So if we click on this model, we'll slide this over so it's easier to see, you can see my start channel is, I've changed it to 688. And the reason is, is if I click here, 
you can see on my left garage, my end channel is 687. So for the, the software and, and controller to know where everything is, all we did was the garage door ended at 687. So this one's going to start at 688. It ends at 723 now. This one ends at starts at 724, ends at 768. And then uh, so this part starts at 769 and ends at 813. That's all we did on, on installing that is made that change where we just flipped it around. And you'll also notice too is the starting location down here is left. So that means we're starting on the left. That means it's going to read left to right in this scenario where before previously it would have been started on the right because we started on the other end of it. So those are kind of the key changes on the roof line. For the luminaires, all I did is drew a, a three pixel straight line in times four of them in a row. Um, they're built with just three pixels in them. So the window over here will click. You can see our window stopped at channel 1632. So that means this first luminaire is going to start at 1633. We told it I had three pixels. And again, this one's starting from the right because it came off the window this way. So it's going right to left. And then all these pixels are just chained in together. You can see actually the start channel is off of the, the fourth one. And, and the same thing. So it's just daisy chain them on to the end of that channel so everybody knows where it is. And then we've uh, grouped them together. We talked a little bit about groups. You can create a new group in, in X Lights. I put all the luminaires in a group. I put the roof line all in a group. And the doors and the windows all in a group. And then I can apply effects to all the groups instead of each individual piece. So the sequencer, we can do a uh, new sequence really quick. We're just going to do animation, 20 frames per second. Let's just do a 30 second uh, sequence and, and we'll hit done. Now the new version of X-Lights dumps everything in here automatically now instead of having to add in all your uh, elements. So it did put all your groups and everything in here. So we're just going to add... Uh, um, a couple timings in here really quick. And uh, we'll space these out over the 30 seconds. Now we're going to do this. And then all we can do is all the effects are, are pretty much the same over here. We want it on and we wanted our our house for, for Halloween, we can pull our color palette up over here. And let's say we wanted it to be orange. And now I can drag this effect over. And I'll have my roof line will just be orange. And you can see because I applied it to the group, not each individual uh, each individual piece, and I'm just control uh, copy and paste them all in. So you can see when this would be playing, my whole house preview over here is, is everything's orange. So that's just a quick crash course and and how we uh, changed it this year into next year, and then uh, a little bit uh, playing with X lights for a little bit. So we'll plug in some effects here and and shoot a night shot so you can see it all lit up. All right, we have our house lit up. And our luminaires all uh, ready to go. They'll come back on. And then for Christmas, we'll just change these out with a little bit different uh, silhouettes in the background. But that's it, guys. That's uh, adding our uh, luminaires into our display and, and getting it wired up and programmed.